Greetings on this cold and blustery winter day. I want to give you a bit of a sneak preview of this Sunday's morning message as we gather together in person at 8 a.m. and 1030. And we'll also be continuing to live stream both services as well as broadcast them over WPGM radio. And we'll be looking at 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 18 through 21, as we continue the study Forever Foundation, looking at this particular question, what's my calling? That is, as a follower of Jesus Christ, what is our calling, in particular as to how it relates to our response to those in authority over us? And every one of us have those that are in authority over us, don't we? no matter what walk of life we're in. And we want to look at three particular points as we think of answering this question. First of all, what is our attitude? What is to be our intentions? And who is our model? And as we mentioned going through this series over and over again, our relationship with Jesus Christ changes everything. It changes how we relate and respond to authority as well. And ultimately, we realize that God is the final and ultimate authority, and he is the one that we appeal to, and he is the one that we live for, and he is the one from whom we get our direction. And so, if you have never come to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, uh, I would ask you, urge you, plead with you to do so, because he makes all the difference in the world, both here where we live, and for eternity. And each one of us need to come to the place where we admit our sin, because all of us have sin. We need to recognize that and recognize that we're under God's rightful judgment and seek his forgiveness, available only through the death and resurrection of Christ. So it involves admitting our sin, repenting, turning from it, and seeking God's forgiveness available only through the death and resurrection of Christ as we give our lives to the Lord. And he indeed changes everything. So I'd like to encourage you to take some time to read through those verses, verses 18 through 21 of 1 Peter chapter 2. And I want to continue to encourage you to pray for those who are in authority uh, wherever uh, that may be. And uh, I know we need to continue to pray for those in government, as we mentioned this past Sunday. And we're going to expand that a little bit this Sunday with these verses. May you indeed have a blessed day.